Hey guys, so uh, Jeff's at my house and we're gonna get some stuff planted while he's here to help me. Uh, he's gonna work on mostly flowers right now and then I'm gonna plant some cowpeas and some ga um, Bean Garden Kentucky Wonder Pole Beans. So, and then I've got a couple flowers to plant also and uh, we'll see what we can get in the ground. We also unloaded a whole truck bed uh, Jeff's truck bed full of wood chips and uh, we've got it spread out in the garden a little bit so I'll show you guys around and show you what we've done with that. Alright guys so here's my potatoes. See they're coming up pretty well but uh I put some wood chips down right in front of them so when the water's running it will kind of leach some of that. Also I covered the onions. I cover the onions with a, just a sh small layer of uh, wood chips. Over here between these trees, um, I've got some wood chips right here between this tree. I'm going to plant some there. And then between these two trees, I've got a big row right here. And when these climb, then I can just let them climb up and I'll add string to it as we go. Uh, here's my lonely tree that I left. And we put some wood chips down around it. That way I could plant some stuff around that. Kind of excited about that. Also, I need to move my... Here. This mushroom here, even though the paint's faded, is uh, Amanita muscaria. And uh, it's got a little gnome underneath it. Looking over the garden. Maybe I'll repaint this thing one day. All right, I've got three rows right here where I did wood chips, and that's where I'm gonna plant my tomatoes. So my neighbor's got some starts that she's been growing out for me. So as soon as I go pick those up, they'll be transplanted into these rows right here. Alright guys, so I actually have decently rich soil, but we, since we've added these wood chips, I'm going to plant directly into the wood chips. Uh, it wants it to be about an inch and a half deep. This is probably around two to three inches thick, so uh, quickly the roots will uh, go into the ground. So no big deal on that. We're just gonna run through, and I'm just gonna plant this whole row up with uh, these Kentucky Wonder Pole beans. Let's see how far apart they want. Three feet and eight inches apart. Alright guys, so I finished seeding and I still have a bunch of seeds left so I'm going to go ahead and go back over the area. I'm going to just plant another seed all the way down and that way if I have some failure then um, I'll still have a plant there and if I need to I'll just pick the stronger plant and uh, cull out the other ones later so I can still see where my holes are about. I'm just going to go on the opposite of those eight inches so there'll be four inch spacing and I'll just clear them out later if I need to. Alright guys on this short row here just between these two trees I've decided to go to the cow peas. It's like a black eyed pea. So it's a uh, California black eyes what it's calling it. Uh, the reason I am doing this is the seed spacing is only two inches. I've got a um, I've got a relatively short area there so I can lump these together pretty pretty close I think so I'm gonna knock that out we'll just drop the one but there you can see I'm 
All right, guys, I'm gonna put a couple flowers around my tree. We got zinnias on the left and delphinium on the right. Supposedly this gets about four to five feet tall and this gets around two feet tall. So let's get these planted around my tree. Thanks for your help, man. All right, guys, camera's almost dead. I gotta wrap this up very quickly. Nasturtium. I'm sure I butchered that. Don't know what it is. Yellow and red flowers. Look beautiful. Kind of weird looking seed. Look like goat feed. I was told that these were a really good companion flower. That's why I'm planting it with the beans.